Um, you know, here's the thing. <laughs> We're not necessary. We don't necessarily have the optimal work process and that's by design because I, what I was really worried about working on the witness, especially cause that's when the team started becoming big. Um, I was worried about killing the art by making it too much of a business or making it too much of a, of a process, right. Um, that outputs a product. Um, like sometimes you need time to figure things out, like how to make them the best version that they could be. Uh, so there were many times on the witness where it was like, you know, I don't think people are doing that much work right now. Um, because I'm not guiding them to the right things that need to be done, but I don't know right now. So I need the time just to take the break. Right. Um, now that's bad as the team gets bigger and bigger and it's more expensive. Right. Um, and I think we do some of that still today but, um, less, um, but also, you know, our, our model is very loose. We have occasional meetings once in a while we're working still remotely because of COVID. Um, and, but even before that we had some remote people, um, we have occasional meetings, um, but then, but not a lot, you know, and, um, for the most part, we trust people we hire to be able to execute some idea all the way down to the end with only maybe feedback from a couple teammates or something about how it's going, not, not from me or the whole company. We don't do like any of these programming methodologies like Agile or Scrum, or I think those are all... Um, okay, those fall into a certain category of thing, right? Traps. Not exactly traps because they're useful in a certain way. There's this broad category of process um, that is helpful to people who would otherwise be totally unproductive, whether they're new to programming or just find it very hard to focus or whatever, right? You put in this certain level of regularity and discipline and expected results and all that, and uh, you improve results for that, those people, right? And, and also maybe people who, who this is just a job for them, like they're working on it to make money and to feed their family or whatever, nothing wrong with that, but they're not like in it, right? Um, okay. However, that acts for people who know some math. It acts kind of like a band pass filter where you filter out the poor results, but you also filter out the amazing outlier results. Because like sometimes you just need a dude who's bad at certain things to be on the team because he's good at certain other, th he's amazing at certain other things. Right. Or sometimes you need, you know, people who don't really show results on something for a long time because they're ruminating on it. And then eventually something good comes out. Right. And so, um, if you forbid all those things from happening, then that's bad, right? Because you're, you're selecting away those results. So that's why we don't do those. 